Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Riley from MaximalExposure.net where we provide online promotions for small businesses. And today we are going to cover a very important aspect of, although I hate the word, advertising and a word that I don't hate so much, marketing, and that is email advertising or email marketing. And this is actually going to be a, a two-parter instead of this just being on the business website portion of the page. It is also going to be on the business blog portion set or section of the uh, Maximal Exposure website as well, because uh, this advertising, advertising and marketing campaign, this email marketing and advertisement campaign is very, very important to each business blog and or business website. And I'm, I want to talk to you about why it's so important. And I also want to go over how uh, maximal exposure will handle your email marketing campaign the right way because there is a right way and a wrong way email marketing can either be a complete disaster or a big success and that's what that's why i'm here today is to tell you why maximal exposure will make your email marketing campaign if you so choose to use it a big success and this is actually going to be a two-parter uh this is going to be on the website um, business, uh, business website, uh, portion of the, uh, maximum, maximal exposure.net website. And it will be on the business blog section of the maximal exposure website. And, but for right now, now I want to talk to you about business websites and email marketing. Uh, and, and I want to go over with you the right and wrong ways of collecting emails and the right and wrong ways of using the emails of your customers so that uh, you, you can either grow your business or annoy your customer, um, by collecting these first off with a business website. Now, there are uh, a few ways of collecting consumer emails. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about these email marketing companies, uh, eye contact, constant contact, 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 contact. Now, I've used these, actually both businesses before in the past uh, to promote my own personal websites. I do not use them to promote maximal maximal exposure dot net because I found other ways where I don't need to. Now that doesn't mean that these companies, these email uh, marketing companies will not work for your business website because they may. Uh, and that's another one of the advantages of hiring maximal exposure to make that decision and make that call for you and to work with you in either engaging in those companies or not. Now back to um, having or collecting your customers' emails through your business website. There are, are like I said, are a few ways. Uh, there's a way that your consumer, your customer, potential customer cannot access your website without first logging in like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Let me tell you something. Unless you hit the jackpot, you're not Facebook. You're not Twitter. So if uh, if you own or create a business website and the first thing a viewer sees is that he or she has to log into it and give up their email address. People are people are getting more and more protective with their email because of people and companies taking advantage of them. Um, 
spam. And so people are getting more and more protected, protective of signing in, using their email address, and just giving out their email address, period. Email addresses are, are beginning to uh, be like giving out your phone number now. I mean, it's, it's, it's just the way p- companies and people take advantage of emails is just as annoying as uh, someone cold cold calling you about a service or product that that some that someone offers. Now, uh, let me get back to the ways that you can collect uh, your consumers' emails. Like I said, once a you can uh, enable your web- business website to collect a consumer's email by when they go to your site, they see a login section and you, they can't log in to your site unless they uh, create a password and place their email address. That is a huge mistake that I've learned personally several times. Uh, another way is if you have a built in comment section on your site, there's a way to for viewers to log in to that comment section, leave a comment and their uh, email address will automatically be logged into your hosting company's database, which you will have the ability to access it at any time. Both of those are the wrong way to go about it. If you have a business website, the best way to collect a viewer's email, uh, excuse me, yeah, a viewer or a potential customer's email is a simple sign in um, feature or a, a, a login feature that they don't have to access your site. To access your site, they don't have to give up their email address. Your site is open, which is what I've always found to be the best, unless you, like I said, hit the jackpot and you're uh, so popular that you're, you're, you're Twitter or Facebook. The best way I found to go about collecting consumers' emails is to have an open business website, have a login feature or sign in feature. Uh, that's built into your website that gives all your information, all your business um, items and or services or products that has everything your website is supposed to have, but in the corner or down below or up top or wherever uh, we work together to decide to put this uh, sign-in feature, if customers like you enough, they're going to sign in. They're going to feel comfortable about giving you their email address. Once you show them that you you're you have some type of integrity, once you build a customer's trust, once a customer sees that, OK, I've logged in with this guy a couple of times with the, that sells this product or service. I've, I've went to his his or hers, he, this company's website several times and I haven't received a spam uh, newsletter or a spam email in my box, after a while, they're going to trust you. And you earn that trust by, believe it or not, leaving them alone and letting them decide whether to give give their uh, email address or not. The way you do this also is by your service or product. If people like your service, if people like your product, they're not only going to go to your site, website, your business website several times. They're going to get a sense of how your business is run, the uh, type uh, the the type of people that run that business, and they're going to feel comfortable that when they go to your site, that their information is safe. 
So if they go to your site and look up a, a service you offer, uh, connect with you and buy your service, more than likely they're going to do that again if they have a good experience. Same way with products. If, if uh, a customer, a consumer goes to your business website, sees a product uh, they like and they buy it, they have a good experience, more than likely they're going to um, go to your back to your business website again and buy from uh, your website again if, if you have that feature. And I, I'll uh, cover that in another uh, in another web address. But basically, if the consumer has a good experience on your website, they will come back after a while. They will notice that, um, or excuse me, they will appreciate that experience. They will appreciate that they weren't flooded with spams and uh, emails and newsletters, and they will begin to appreciate that. Then they will start to say, what can I do to show my appreciation to this business? What can I do to... Um, further establish a relationship with this business. Believe it or not, humans be, human beings still actually do this and still actually think that way. And they will notice that sign-up sheet. They will notice that uh, uh, sign-in feature where they would give their email address and sign up for your newsletters. Believe, uh, believe it or not, that is the best way to collect emails then you can begin to because once because one, they know once they sign up for a newsletter because you first of all you have to make them aware of it sign up for a newsletter sign up you know to receive newsletters uh, once a week, once a month for new items, uh, new products or services, they're going to expect you. They're going to expect now to receive newsletters from this site that they've trusted for a while now and that they want to give something to show their appreciation, which is their email address. This system does take a little bit longer than the the whole login process, uh, the system uh, does have its flaws like every other system, but I found to sustain loyal customers, to sustain um, new customers, and to keep people coming back to your site and in turn buying your product or service and staying with you in the long run, it is for the best to let the viewer uh, that's visiting your site decide on whether he or she wants to give you their email address, which is a big advantage. Now, once you accumulate emails over time, then you can... I, cause I, because I never said that, you know, uh, companies like Con Eye Contact or Constant Contact are bad. But once you accumulate um, in a, a sufficient amount of emails over time in that manner, then you can start doing business with those types of email marketing firms, which are very cheap, by the way. And then you can begin to grow your newsletter uh, promotion in that way as well. And what Maximal Exposure does is when we create your website, your business website, we will provide viewers in the correct manner with that login feature and in with dealing with Maximal Exposure the web hosting company that we deal with collects the login email, the uh, email subscriptions in their database. And of course, you will have full access to your own um, 
email addresses that you've accumulated over um, that certain period of time. Now, that's what we do. That's what we where we come in. We don't want you to accumulate emails in the wrong way because people when they when they open them, it's going to go right to their spam. If you build your uh, customer base in this type of way, like I said, it might take a little bit longer, but in the long run, it's better and maximal exposure will make sure that's done. And we will use and send out your business newsletters and collect your business newsletters in the appropriate manner, in the appropriate uh, time frame, whether it be once a week, uh, once every couple of weeks, or like I said, every time you get a new product or service. So maximal exposure will keep track of everything that I've just said. So you won't have to. So we want our customers to focus on the, we want to give our customers the ability to focus on other aspects of their business besides their promotion. That's where we come in. That's where, that's what we do. And that's what, that's where we shine.